the year 2026 has brought with it one of the most surprising and ambitious projects on the African continent, the unveiling of Kenya's own space and rocket launcher program, known by the bold and symbolic name Nakua. In Swahili, the word Nakua means I am coming, and this name captures the spirit of determination, progress, and arrival that Kenya wishes to announce to the entire world. For a nation long recognized for its rich culture, natural beauty, and athletic champions, the leap into space technology and rocketry signals a new chapter in its journey toward technological independence and global relevance. This development has captured the attention of defense analysts, scientists, and political leaders alike, not only in Africa but across the globe. Why? because the idea of a space and rocket launcher emerging from East Africa, at a time when most nations are still struggling with basic infrastructure, is more than just ambition though it is strategy, innovation, and vision combined. The NACU project is not a sudden decision. Kenya has for decades dreamed of entering the space race. As far back as the 1960s and 70s, the Italian San Marco project was conducted off the coast of Malindi, where rockets were launched near the Indian Ocean. That location close to the equator offered a natural advantage for satellite launches. However, after the decline of those collaborations, Kenya's space ambitions largely faded into the background. But now, in 2026, the nation has reignited the flame, this time under its own banner and with its own name. The Nakua launcher is designed as both a space access system and a strategic defense capability. Unlike traditional rockets limited to scientific missions, this launcher has dual use features. It can carry satellites for communication, navigation, and surveillance but it is also adaptable for defense applications a meaning Kenya is preparing itself for the complex security dynamics of the future. In today's world, satellite intelligence and rocket capability define the power of a nation. By investing in such technology, Kenya is ensuring it is no longer just a consumer of global technology, but a producer. Engineers behind Nakua describe it as a multi-stage rocket, designed with modern composite materials to reduce weight and maximize payload capacity. The system is capable of placing small to medium satellites into low Earth orbit, giving Kenya the ability to control its own communication networks, weather forecasting, and military surveillance. This capability alone places Kenya far ahead of many developing nations, and it provides independence from foreign controlled satellite networks. Imagine a future where Kenya does not need to rely on other nations for internet backbone or disaster monitoring or it can do it itself from space. Beyond the technical details, the symbolism of Nikola cannot be ignored. Africa has often been left behind in global technological revolutions. From the industrial era to the digital era, the continent has been more of a consumer than a creator. But space is different. In this new era, Africa has a chance to leapfrog. By creating indigenous rocket and space launchers, Kenya is positioning itself as a leader not just in East Africa but across the entire continent. For young African scientists and engineers, NACU is a statement, the future of technology is not limited to America, Europe, Russia, or China. Africa too can reach the stars. At the same time, the project has naturally attracted curiosity about its defense potential. In a time where missile defense systems, hypersonic weapons, and satellite wars dominate global military strategy, the idea of Kenya having a rocket launcher has raised eyebrows. Military observers note that while NACU is presented as a civilian and scientific project, its design could one day be modified for national defense purposes. 
After all, the same technology that launches a satellite can also be adapted for long-range defense capabilities. For Kenya, surrounded by regional security challenges and often dependent on external powers for defense, this development signals a major step toward self-reliance. Economically, NACU is expected to boost Kenya's standing in the African technology market. A local space launcher creates opportunities for satellite companies across Africa to use Kenya as a launch hub. Instead of paying millions to foreign agencies, African nations could one day launch their satellites right from the equator, at lower costs and with regional cooperation. This could make Kenya not just a space nation but also a space service provider. In the same way countries like Kazakhstan became known for Baikonur, or French Guiana for Gru, Kenya could soon be on the map as Africa's own equatorial spaceport. The government has emphasized that NACU is not merely a prestige project. It is tied to practical needs, improving agriculture through weather satellites, strengthening national communication, and enhancing disaster response. Kenya has faced droughts, floods, and climate change challenges for decades. With its own satellites in orbit, it can monitor climate patterns more accurately, guide farmers with better data, and prepare citizens for natural disasters. The potential benefits are not limited to defense or prestige they touch on everyday life. But like every major project, NACU also faces challenges. Critics question the cost of such an ambitious space program at a time when Kenya still struggles with poverty unemployment, and public debt. They ask, should a nation with limited resources invest in rockets? Supporters argue that this is precisely why Kenya must invest because space technology will generate opportunities, attract foreign investment, and push local industries to innovate. The balance between short-term needs and long-term vision is delicate, but Kenya's leaders appear committed to pushing ahead. Internationally, the NACU project has stirred both admiration and cautious observation. Western nations see it as a symbol of African ambition, while regional rivals may view it as a shift in the balance of power. Partnerships are already being discussed with countries like South Africa, which has its own space agency, and Nigeria, which has experience in satellite launches. If Kenya can build an ecosystem around NACU, including training programs, research centers, and satellite manufacturing, the impact on African science and defense could be historic. The inspiration for the name NACU is also important. I Am Coming reflects not only Kenya's arrival into the space age but also Africa's collective voice. For decades, the continent was told to wait to follow, to copy. With this project, Kenya is saying, we are not waiting anymore. We are coming. We are building. We are launching. This statement is powerful for the young generation, who see in it a chance to dream beyond borders. In terms of technology, early reports suggest that NACU incorporates hybrid propulsion technology, blending solid and liquid fuel stages. This design is meant to ensure reliability while keeping costs manageable. The rocket is estimated to be around 25 to 30 meters tall, with a payload capacity of roughly 500 to 800 kilograms to low Earth orbit. While this does not match the massive rockets of the United States, Russia, or China, it is perfectly suited for the African market, where most satellite missions are smaller and less costly. The project has also been linked to universities and research institutions in Kenya. Young engineers from Nairobi, Eldoret, and Mombasa have been recruited to work on the program, and scholarships have been announced for students pursuing aerospace engineering. By involving the next generation, 
Kenya is ensuring that Naku is not just a single rocket it is the beginning of an entire industry. As the first test launch approaches, excitement is building across the country. Citizens are already talking about watching history unfold, just as people did when other nations first reached space. For many Kenyans, the rocket represents pride, identity, and proof that their country can dream big. The sight of Nikola rising into the sky will not just be about technology it will be about the spirit of a nation lifting itself higher. The year 2026 may well be remembered as the year Kenya redefined itself. From being known primarily as a tourist destination and athletic powerhouse, Kenya is now entering the global stage as a technological innovator. The Nakua Space and Rocket Launcher embodies courage, determination, and vision. It says to the world, Africa is no longer just a spectator in the great race for the skies. Africa is now a participant. As global challenges continue via climate change, security threats, and technological rivalry so the nations that will thrive are those that embrace innovation, take risks, and invest in the future. With Nakua, Kenya has chosen that path. And whether for space exploration, defense, or regional cooperation, this rocket may very well be the spark that lights up Africa's journey into the stars. The world will be watching. The continent will be watching. And most importantly, the people of Kenya will be watching, united under a new dreamer one that declares with pride and determination, Nakua. I am coming.